Hello everyone, welcome to my video on elementary differential equation. This is video 12 for chapter 3. In the previous video we talked about um, reduction of order and uh, we come to a method we call it method 3 which is most efficient. So in this video we will apply this method to a couple of examples. So before I begin, let's do a quick review of the method. So given the solution y1 of a second order linear homogeneous equation, we want to find a second solution y2. Here's the procedure. So first, we find the Voronskian of the two solutions by Arbo's theorem, and then there is an integral of negative p that you need to be performed. And then second, now we solve an equation for v. We know that v prime is w times y1 to the power negative 2. Now it's a function because both y1 and the Voronskian now are known. And then we find the v here by simply integrating this one. So in both steps, the first and the second step, you can choose the constant in a convenient way to have a simple looking function. Okay, so once you have found the v, then we form the second solution by simply multiply v on y1. Very simple. That's it. Okay, let's look at some examples. Okay, so here is an example. Um, we are given an equation, second order, linear, variable coefficients, although homogeneous, with t squared here, and therefore t cannot be zero, so t is bigger than zero, the part we are considering. And then now it's given that y1 equals t is a solution, and we want to find the general solution. So we know um, in the core we just need to find y2 and then we can quickly form the general solution. Okay, so we'll use method 3, which means we'll apply Arbo's theorem and then we need to find this function p here, which is the function in front of y prime, where the function in front of y double prime is 1. So which is, I would just have to divide this equation here by t square. Okay, so pt will be this function over t squared, and then we can cancel the t, and then I'll get t plus 2 over t, and I know I will have to integrate this function, so let's write it out more conveniently. This is negative 1 minus 2 over t. Okay, now let y2 be the second solution, and then we can apply our theorem, and we can just put the constant c there to be um, 1. Okay, so we did call it capital C. Okay, we just put it to be 1, and then we have the Voronskian is the exponential of the integral of negative pt. Okay, and then integrate this and negative, make it 1 plus 2 over t, you get t plus 2 ln of t. And then you can simplify this expression into t squared e to the t. Now, um, the second solution we seek in the form v times y1. And then by method 3, we know v prime would equal to the Voronskian times y1 to the power negative 2. And the Voronskian we already have. And then y1 is t, so this is Voronskian times t to the negative 2. So the t to the 2 and t to the negative 2 cancels to 1. I just get et. Okay, and uh, v prime is et, then you quickly recover. A convenient v is e to the t. And then you have the solution y2 is just v times y1 which is t, so it is t times e to the t. So observe how quickly and how easily 
we obtain the V and we obtain the Y too. Um, if now you should not believe um, we are in such good luck that we quickly find this simple looking function and there is an easy way to verify it that is you can simply put this y2 back into the equation and you can verify that the equation holds okay and then we can form the general solution is a linear combination of um, y1 and y2 sorry this is y1 okay so um putting in now the function so i get c1t plus c2t e to the t okay so we observe here the efficiency of method three okay let's take one more example we um, are given this equation here um, y double prime and y the y prime term is not there mm, that's actually nice and then one solution is this y1 takes this form and you can plug it in and verify it if you like and we want to find y2 okay of course we use method three here we see that y prime term is not uh, not there which means p is zero and then by Arbo's theorem by using the constant c um, is uh, one capital c and then we have very quickly the Boromsky is exponential of zero which is just one okay you can say this integral is zero and the exponential of zero is one or if you take this integral to be one and then you get exponential which is constant and you can multiply by an, or one over e and get one so this is what I mean by just choosing the convenient constant to get a, a convenient um, expression for the brown skin. Okay, and then y2 is v times y1, and then v prime is brown skin times y1 to the negative 2, and brown skin is just 1, and then I'll take the square of this and take the inverse, and that's what I have. And then um, to solve for v, you just need to integrate this. So v will be the integral of that. And we see now um, this is a, a bit a complicated expression. So the main part of the work will be to work out this integration. Okay, so um, we see that there is a square root of t in the exponential function. So that gives me an idea of uh, using substitution. Let's call this u equal to negative 4 root t then what is du du would just be um negative 2 t to the power negative half of dt you differentiate this in t right and then we'll have the integral would be so plug it in here i'll get negative half e to the u because i call this u okay and then um well, um because uh, um the this times dt becomes du and i see it's the same other than a constant so that's the only thing i need to adjust okay and that's just an exponential function i'll get half e to the u and then we can plug it back and uh, um write it back into t again u is negative 4 times square root of t i'll get negative half e to the u change it into t okay we can now drop this constant we know it doesn't matter and then can write it into a simpler form y2 is v times y1 which is um and this is this is the v and this is y1 you put them together and then you can simplify the exponential terms combine them this is negative 4 this is 2 you get negative 2 okay and t to the power 1 fourth and then of course um if you worry that if 
and you made a mistake or not you're not sure this is the solution and this is a say you're in the exam it's important you got a correct expression and you have some time in the end and you can verify by plug this function back into the equation you need to work out then y2 double prime and put it in here and check if the equation holds okay that's not such a terrible computation okay so we see that um, method 3 works very well and um, it's an efficient and quick method okay so um, that's um, all the examples I would like to go through and uh, this is the end of the topic reduction of order I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time